Hello from Unearthing Nature. Let me bring to your attention some of the palms on this beautiful May afternoon. Pygmy palms or Phoenix rubellinis are small to medium sized, slow growing slender trees growing to about six to 20 feet tall. The leaves are about 24 to 40 inches long with around 100 leaflets arranged in single or in two planes. Each leaflet is about six to 10 inches long, slightly drooping and gray green in color with scurfy pubescence. The flowers are small, yellowish inflorescence. The fruit is edible resembling a small thin fleshed date. Phoenix rubellinis are popular ornamental plants in gardens in tropical and subtropical climate areas with a minimum temperature requirement of about 26 degrees Fahrenheit or minus three degrees centigrade. It is also grown as a house plant in cooler areas. It needs little pruning to develop a strong structure it is resistant to pests, is tolerant to soil variation, and is moderately drought tolerant. This smaller fan palm is without a doubt the best candidate of any landscape palm for night lighting. It tends to grow in clusters, but is slow enough to rarely outgrow its space. It is planted as a single specimen or grouped while young. It is very cold hardy. This palm makes the perfect focal point in a tropical garden that needs to take a frost. It also does well in the reflected heat and glare around swimming pools and spas. This is the hardiest of all palms with its attractive multi-tranked habit that forms rounded clumps. It is an attractive compact crown of blue-green, deeply cut, fan-shaped foliage. Despite its common name, a sago palm isn't technically a true palm tree. This plant has long green fronds called cycads, which is a group of ancient tropical and subtropical plants that usually grow from a trunk that does not branch out. It produces nuts, but does not flower or fruit. Sago palm pops are small clones of the parent plant. They grow in around the base of the sago. Splitting a sago palm pop is a matter of removing the pops by snapping or cutting them off where they join the parent plant. When you're splitting a sago palm pop from a mature plant, first figure out where the pop attaches to the parent plant. Wiggle the pop until it pulls off or else cut the narrow base. After separating sago palm pops from the parent plant, clip off any leaves and roots on the pops. Place the offsets in the shade to harden off for a week. Then plant each one in a pot a couple of inches bigger than the plant. Sago palm divisions must be watered thoroughly when the pops are first planted in soil. After that, allow the soil to dry before watering again. To keep areca palms healthy, it's especially important to keep them hydrated during hot and dry weather conditions. Feed indoor and outdoor areca palms throughout its growing season. These palms don't need much in the way of pruning or trimming. Wait to remove any dying fronds until they are mostly brown, as they can st still play a role in photosynthesis. Indoor areca palms often don't receive enough light 
unless they are placed near a very bright window. So it can benefit your areca palm to bring it outdoors in warm weather to be exposed to diffuse sunlight.